Hey there, I'm Ken. This is CRT. Welcome to this episode where I am going to show you something new that I have recently picked up for my Tandy Color Computer 3. That new piece of equipment is this. This is a switcheroo cable. This allows you to hook your RGB connector on your Color Computer 3 up to a SCART adapter and then from the SCART adapter into HDMI on any modern TV. So let's uh, take a look at how easy this is to hook up and what a difference it makes for your Color Computer 3. Okay, let's get started. So just for comparison, this is what it looks like hooked up through Composite. Now I am not running this through a capture card, it's just the camera pointed directly at the screen due to the fact that I currently don't have a way to record the um, RGB signal out of the switcheroo. So we're doing it this way. Now this is uh, low res graphics and obviously this is the screen and that's the program. Now with the uh, Coco 3 you can change the width of your text. So here it is in 40 column mode. You can still read that through the composite uh, output here. So that looks fine. But uh, when you go to the 80 column mode, well, now it's not really legible. That's what it looks like in the 80 column mode through the composite output. So as you can see you can use up to the 40 column mode through composite but 80 column is pretty much unusable. And this is basically everything you need for hooking up your RGB connector on your Tandy Color Computer 3 to a modern HDMI TV. So this is the SCART to HDMI converter box that I bought. This I bought off of Amazon for about $55. You want to make sure you get a fairly decent one of these. The cheaper ones don't go to nearly as high of a resolution, so it will not make near as much of a difference. And this is the switcheroo cable from cocoman.biz. I will put a link to the website down in the description of the video. So this is the SCART connector which goes into your uh, SCART to HDMI. This connects to the bottom of the Color Computer 3. Uh, this goes into your video composite out and this is a power cable. So it has to be hooked up to a 5 volt uh, power source. So on the bottom of your Color Computer 3, you will find the RGB out connector right here. So you take the rainbow colored uh, cable here. This hooks up, line it up into there, hook it in. And there, now that, that cable comes out the back of your computer and it's ready to be hooked up to your video converter and then to your TV. So we've got the uh, rainbow cable here plugged into the bottom of the Coco 3. Now the SCART connector plugs into the adapter. Um, there is a power cable down here for the adapter. Now it's got power. Then there is a cable that plugs into the back of the computer into the composite video out. And finally you have to give the switcheroo power, so it's USB powered. So 
I got a little USB power block here. And now it's ready to be turned on. Actually, it's not ready to be turned on because I haven't hooked up the HDMI cable yet. Always something, isn't it? There we go. Now the HDMI cable is hooked up to the back of the TV. So now it's ready to be turned on. And there we go. As soon as everything goes away here, that is the RGB output. So let's give it the same test we did the composite output. So here is the same little uh, program from the game I've been working on in uh, RGB. So as you can see, very nicely easy to see in the uh, 34 column mode. Still very easy to see in 40 column mode. And still very readable in the 80 column mode. So that is a huge difference. And when you're typing things in, having the 80 column mode, having so much more on the screen makes it so much easier to uh, really do. It's just like it's it's easier to uh, type things in and be able to look back much further in the program and look at larger chunks of the program on screen. It just makes life a lot easier. Now one thing you may be asking yourself is what was that little toggle switch on top of the uh, connector for? Well, let me show you. Right now, I've got it set to RGB, which means it's in RGB mode. But, unfortunately, when you get some of the older games, uh, the RGB mode doesn't really work with them. Oh, that's a little loud. See? This is what this... Frogger game looks like when it's uh, in RGB mode. Not very playable. But if you switch this toggle switch here over to composite, it takes you back to the composite mode so games like this work just fine. That is the switcheroo cable and my goodness, what a difference it makes. That RGB mode is like night and day, especially when it comes to things like that 80 column mode. Um, it, yeah, it is just beautiful looking. Uh, unfortunately, I, as of yet, do not have a way to record off of that, but hopefully soon I will find something within my budget to be able to do that. But for now, I am just going to enjoy the clarity of playing games in the RGB mode. But uh, yeah, so that's all I have to say for today. So I hope you enjoyed um, seeing me take a look at this new piece of equipment for my Tandy Color Computer 3. And if you're interested in that uh, SCART converter, I will put a link to Amazon down below where I bought that. And uh, yeah. Don't forget that if you did enjoy this, you can uh, do the liking, subscribing, and or commenting below because anything and everything you do is always greatly appreciated. But for now, I'm going to go play more games. So see you next time.